All right. Well, um, hopefully this is going to work. So what I wanted to do was share with you all tonight how to use Creative Memories digital art with paper scrapbooking. So I have a feeling that many of you are under the impression that the digital kits is not something that is for you. And um, now I'm trying to read comments and talk, which is never a good idea. Um, so hopefully there's no feedback or anything. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take you through the whole process. And if you're just tuning in, a couple of announcements. So go ahead and share this whew, crazy feed. And um, I will do the drawing tomorrow night. I'm going to give everyone a little more time to share this calamity. Um, uh, especially the other, there at the beginning. No, really, I hope you'll all learn something new. So go ahead and share this. I'm going to do what I did last week on the tool time is give people a little bit time to watch the replay and share. Because, um, you know, Facebook is good like that. It will tell me how many shares and then I can put everyone into the drawing. So um, what I'm going to do is um, give away your choice of what's available of a digital art kit. So um, you'll have to create a, an account if you win through my website, through the creativememories.com website. And basically I will reimburse you because you can't gift these kits to anyone. Um, <laughs> uh, thank you, Stacy. Yes, I know. You even sort of forewarned me. Um, but the new Facebook Zoom interface is a little wacky, everyone, so we apologize. Um, all right, so let's just get right into it. You know the drill. Share this, and you have until tomorrow. I'm going to, how about I do the drawing um, right before Masterpiece Jewelers uh, Facebook Live, since, since you all will be online for their online jewelry tomorrow night. So I'll go ahead and do it at 6.45 while you are all sitting by your phones waiting for it to start. And then we'll just go into, um, into watching jewelry. Okay, so let's get going. I'm trying to settle myself down. You know how tech can be. And, and this is my gig, right? Techie Tuesday. Um, I, this is my jam. So, hey, if you can uh, stay calm, that is, that's good. Don't let technology rattle you. All right. So I've gone onto the Creative Memories website. You may not have ever even um, gone to this digital part. Hopefully you have, because I've done Techie Tuesdays on different things in here before, like custom album covers, and I did custom spines last month. So this is what I'm talking the digital artwork. We're going to go into digital elements because you're probably not going to try to print your own paper. That would be probably cost prohibitive when it comes to the ink. But sometimes you need a digital element or maybe you need multiple and you are allowed to use this for your personal use. Obviously you can't make things and sell them, but you can you can use it for personal use. So I'm going to, I'm going to do, I'm going to go straight from the beginning of process. So this is the one I'm going to buy the digital staycation because I don't have that, but I want to just scroll through some of the other ones. So another reason why you maybe want to do this is because sometimes stickers sell out or embellishments sell out. And as I'm scrolling through here, you might see some that are no longer available. For instance, um, the, the Magic Awaits um, elements, they are, those are no longer available. The Beneath the Pines are no longer, not, I can't even talk, no longer available. Um, the Picture This elements no longer. 
So by buying the digital kit, you, um, even if they've run out of the papers or stickers, you still have access to them. Now, when I take you through some, not every single one is going to be one that you're going to want to fussy cut or cut with your Cricut, but like these were hugely popular, but like, a, and so they sold out. They only did a limited run, these digital emojis. And these would be so easy because they're all circles for the most part. Um, I mean, there's other things than circles, but a lot of them are circles. And I'm sure you can find emoji faces and just um, save them to your computer that way. But it is nice, especially if you've gotten a pack of stickers and maybe you've run out and you need more, you actually have the matching artwork. So um, I am signed in. So you would create an account and make sure you're signed in. Then we're gonna add it to the cart. I'm gonna do this whole process start to finish here. Um, it's, I've added it to the cart. Now I'm going to check out. And um, if, right now there's a little, you get a mini sketch booklet. Um, that'll only ship if you have like shippable stuff. Uh, so I'm not really sure that might be kind of a glitch in your website. So let me buzz by everybody. Now it shouldn't be charging me shipping. So I think that's because of that freebie in the cart. So let's just go back. And I'm gonna take that out of my cart. Because that's why it's charging me the shipping because it, it's giving me this free little mini sketchbook. So if you do place an order with all of the awesome new stuff, I'll take a, a stroll through there in a second. So many good things. No, I don't want to add my free thing. So now <laughs> it's going to keep asking me if I want my free gifts. I do not want my free gifts. All right, but now it's not charging me shipping. See, the, the last thing I want, I, and I hear it all the time, is people think these crazy things only happen to them on websites. These things just, you just have to not let technology win, right? So I, that was it. I have a credit card saved on file. So I purchased, I purchased that kit. Now I need to go into my account and go to my downloadable products. And here it is, Staycation. I'm gonna download it. It's downloading. There's no codes or anything to download. Um, or to, to activate it or anything like that. Um, so now we're just going to go to my, my downloads and we're going to unzip it, Let's extract all. And then my extracted folder, I'm just going to go ahead and move out here to the, to the desktop. All right, so now it's on my desktop. That's the most you would rather be able to find these things, right? So you got to put them somewhere where you can find them. And here's the elements. Here's some of them. So we've got the little house. There's a little bubble. This is connected. There's two folders. Make sure you look in all of them. There's more fun stuff. And so now it's just a matter of what I'm going to print. So we'll, we'll print a couple things just for fun. But now I know where they are, they're on my desktop. Now, you can, if you just have a printer connected, you could throw some, uh, you don't have as much, you know, you can't manipulate the size as much, but if you don't have a program like Artisan or another, like, um, I don't know, if you can even do it like in PowerPoint, but if I just right click on this and go to print, my print is going to come up and I can say, I can pick like the three by four and then it's going to print it into like a three and a half by five inch spot. 
or I could go like wallet and it would be even smaller. And then you could print it on cardstock. Um, and if I select multiple things, so I'm gonna hold my shift key and like select all of these things. And then if I do the same thing, right click and print, I can come down here to wallet and see they're all chopped off. But if I uncheck this button, now I'll get the full, the full icon. And so then I'll print those and I can fussy cut them and you can do things smaller, right? A contact sheet, depending on how small. Now that's if you don't have a program to manipulate them in. And I apologize for people that have other cutting machines, like a scan and cut and that kind of thing, because I just have a Cricut. So I am going to show tonight. So now you see that you can purchase it, you can unzip it, you can literally print it on cardstock, however you print things. And, um, and you, you know, like I said, you can fussy cut it or like if it's circle then just cut it out with a circle cutter, that kind of thing. But now I'm going to take you into Cricut and I'm actually, that's why I have my, um, my Cricut set up over here <laughs> so that you can see that. And I do have the comments up. So if you have any questions while I'm going along, um, let me go ahead and make this big now. All right. So I'm in Cricut, I started a new project and I'm gonna go to upload. And then I'm gonna upload an image and then I say browse. And then I've gotta to go to my desktop and I need to remember, oh, it's vacation elements. Kind of go through the process until you see the fun stuff. All right, so I'm gonna do this camera. And I'll come back, maybe we'll make another one. So then I say open and you wanna do complex and then continue. All right, so you're gonna see a really big version, but we're not gonna, you can, you can alter the sticker by selecting pieces to erase and that kind of thing, but I'm, that's not what I'm here to do right now. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom right and hit continue. And then this is where people get derailed. Most of the time people call me and they say, ah, it won't cut because they just want a cut image, right? So this, you're not going to get any detail of the camera. Now I could remove parts of it and make my own you know, camera die cut if I want. But what we want to do tonight is this print then cut image. And then uh, we haven't even uploaded it yet. So I'm going to say upload. And now here it is down here. Then we say insert images. And here it is. It's huge. If you look up here on the top, it's going to tell you your size. So that's your um, 13 by 9. So we want to make this, say we want a four inch camera. Okay, so now it's four by 2.6. Okay, and then that's it. We're ready to make it. So then we click make it. Now, you can do multiple things and this box will expand. So let's go back. Since we've got everybody since um, some of you are still hanging with me here, then I'm going to go back to the desktop, back to my, oh, that's magic space. Click in here. Let's do, um, I don't know, the pizzas, oh, the flamingo in the pool is fun. What did I just do? The camera. All right, the flamingo in the pool. Where did it go? Here it is. Open, complex, continue. I'm not gonna click on anything. If you click on it, then it disappears. So we don't wanna do that. Say continue. 
We don't want it to be just a cut image. We want print then cut. So we're going to upload. All right. Now I have a feeling that some of these little pieces are going to get separated, but we're just going to, we're going to, we're going to see. I just bought this. So, I mean, not the card kit, but this kit, but these are going to be separate, separate little pieces. All right. So let's go. Let's see if we can. Now we say make it. Okay, so that way it's going to do two per sheet. So what you're looking at now on this view is actually an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. Um, and so what confuses people is they think that this is going to be printed with your markers or different things, but no, nope, you're going to, I'm going to send it to my printer that's cooked, that's hooked up to my computer. So now I'm going to say continue. And then I say send to the printer. All right, so it's showing me a preview. This black line is normal. You're going to see that was the reason why I set up the Cricut so that you could see it actually is going to, that's what it uses so that it gets its, you know, bearing so it knows where it is. So I'm going to print. And because this is how my 2021 is going, I'll likely run out of ink right now. And then I'll get to show you how to change ink in my HP printer, which I love. All right, so you can hopefully hear it printing. Printing. Okay, and now, so here I have it printed off and I'm going to stick it. Stick it right in the top left corner of a, my Cricut mat. Okay, so now I've got it on my mat. I'm going to stop my chair for a second so I can spotlight this. All right. I've got it set to cardstock plus. I'm going to, oops. Oh. The things are loaded. You think you're loaded? Okay, we're loaded in there now. And now we're going to, oh, I can't really see my go button here. Flashing, that means it's time to cut. I'm gonna cut in there. Now you're gonna see the um, machine scan those black lines so it knows where it is. Um, Lori, I have an office jet 5255 and do the HP Insta Ink. It's amazing. They send you, you can do it for as little as like $1.99 a month. You never run out of ink. It's based on how much you print. So I think I pay like $5.99 a month, um, six times 12. That's way cheaper than what I was spending on me. So now that the Cricut has determined and gotten its orientation on the board, now it's going to be interesting what it's going to do for the grass and the little puddle by the pool. But that's all right. That's what we have precision point adhesive and repositionable tape and those kinds of things for us. While we're watching the Cricut cut, this is from the Magic Awaits, Little Castle. 
Now, if you have a, a program that manipulates color, you could change the colors on this, right? Creative Memories, when it was designed, is red and black and yellow. But that's another bonus for having a program that can change it. But like the sticker pack is no longer available. But because I bought the digital elements, then if I need to, to print them, I can. Yeah, they do, you know, they sometimes you just need to get a new one. I had a, a laser printer for a long time and I, it was, you know, a hundred dollars a toner. That was just crazy. All right, it's done. Gonna unload it here. Let me switch. And then we just pull them off. And you can see there's a very, you lose a little bit of sticker. A lot of times when you peel them off a sticker sheet, you know, you see that little bit. Okay, here's my little, adorable, right? The little flamingo is cut out, the little grass is cut out. These little splashes are separate, these little individual splashes. The little pool, as I suspected, is separate. So all these little pieces, which I'm not gonna bore you by pulling them all out right um, live, but there's the little piece of grass and I still have some pieces to pick out, um, but it's very, I hope you'll you found that by watching that 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 was easy um and like i said it's uh especially on on sticker packs that are no longer available in real true form or like i said you know if you need to change the size of something now i would caution i have no idea how safe my HP printer ink is, but as a general rule, if I didn't buy it from Creative Memories and didn't know that it was um, safe for my album, then I just don't let it touch um, a photo on the page because as always, our pages are buffered. So any ink or whatever isn't gonna. So I don't know, do we wanna, do another one or call it a night. Um, it's so it's so fun, isn't it? And of course, um, you um, you can have endless hours of fun with this. Um, well, I'm doing it on cardstock, so I would say it's pretty stable. Do you mean stable as in stable for your albums, acid free? Um, if you were just doing it on regular printer um, paper, you might want to do that and then do a card stock, um, just do the cut. You would have to upload it twice, Frida, because you have to upload it as a cut file and then upload it as a printing cut. Um, and I haven't, because I, if I do this, sometimes I'll bring it into another program. Well, not like with this, but say, um, those of you that did the rainbow run last year for cannonballs for King, you received a little sticker in the mail. Well, I designed, um, the logo for the rainbow run and printed the stickers on sticker paper. So you can also do that. Again, I don't know the safety as far as for your albums, but I built in a white edge around it so that we didn't lose any of the logo um, when it printed it out. If you don't have a great printer and you're worried about that quality, um, you can also save it as a PDF 
and um, send it to Kinko's or Office Depot, something like that, and get it printed on cardstock. I mean, that's a, we're talking, that's a great length for, you know, a, a camera. Uh, but it is possible if you, if you don't have a printer and you want to do that. But yeah, if you just wanted to add some thickness to it, sure, you could do that, Frida. Um, all right. Well, if no one has any other questions for me, then we can be done. Um, if you're just now joining, I'm not going to do the drawing, and the drawing will be for digital elements of your choice from Creative Memories, but I'm not going to do it till tomorrow night at 645. So if you're watching the replay of this, you have till Wednesday, uh, May 5th, to um, share this. Go ahead and share. You, need to do, you do need to share it by 6 o'clock, though, and I'll put all this in the... Um, yeah, in the, in the post, um, so that I have time to get everyone's names in and do a proper drawing. So I think that's it. If no one has any other questions for me, I hope you enjoyed this Techie Tuesday. I hope you learned something. Hope you tell a friend to come check it out. Tag them in this video. Um, if you know someone with a Cricut, like I said, you can just print it on your printer or on cardstock and fussy cut it. Some fussy cut it just fine. You can use them over and over and over and over and over again. Yep. So I would say as a business person, someone might say, well, Tara, that's just really silly that, um, you know, but I would say, you know, telling people to do this, that they could just have the same sticker a hundred times, but most people don't need a hundred of the same sticker for their album. And most people don't buy multiples of the same sticker pack. So I think if people buy the sticker pack and they just love it, and it's one that they want to use over and over again, then like I said, you're, that you're totally allowed to do that for your own personal, personal use. So I just really wanted to expose all of my paper scrapbookers and I'm not really sure. Um, I know a lot of you do have a Cricut and so hopefully you'll try it. You can rewatch this video, pause it, and if you have any questions, you can post them in the comments or you can message me and I am happy to answer. So you all have a nice night. Hope you have a happy Techie Tuesday. Hope you feel a little more empowered with your technology. And that is all for now. I will see you next Tuesday. Well, I'll see you tomorrow night when I choose a winner. All right. See you soon.